Hello Gainers, I'm Ralphie and welcome to my channel called Fitter Philosophy where I kind of discuss a lot of subjects around the concept of Stoicism practical stoicism so it's rather than academic philosophy it's the practical experience and common sense philosophy that we gain through our lives which enable us hopefully as we get older to be that little bit wiser and I can bear in, I remember actually quite well how the stupid things that I did as a child which I wouldn't get away with now so Thank goodness we do learn over time because everybody makes mistakes but the real skill is to recover from these mistakes and learn from, from them so as not to repeat them. And sometimes we're going through our lives regarding it as a normality and yet we have this suspicion goes on. It doesn't apply to everybody, it applies to a few people. We have a suspicion that in fact our lives are a mistake, that we're making the mistake in living the lives that we don't want to have for ourselves and it can take quite a bit of courage to actually address the issue and admit it and examine it but a lot more courage is required to actually do something about it and many people choose to accept the circumstances wherever they are in the world everywhere and anywhere and just make the best with what they've got but it's when we connect with people and the internet is fantastic for this and we connect with people who have had the bravery to examine their life find it wanting and unsatisfactory to be aware that we only get one shot at this life um, and that we really have to make the most of what we've got with the resources we've, we've got and bravery and courage is one of those resources and I told you a number of videos ago about my friend Sandy who was in education uh, she was developing particularly in her 20s she was very keen to develop her career and further herself and get status and money and that you know the modern contemporary trappings of wealth but as time went on she found it hollow increasingly hollow so two years it's about two years now she sold her apartment in Glasgow in Scotland and this is just literally as the pandemic was kicking off and just before lockdown she moved to a remote part of the west coast of Scotland where it's far more rural and detached and basically it's a very green area that's very windswept with the Atlantic Ocean uh, so there's not a lot of trees, not a lot of shelter and it's very elemental with the weather and she bought a cottage there, a small cottage, and has strived to be self-sufficient and live off the grid. And I was speaking to her recently and she was quite happy for me to give you an update on how she's getting on and she's doing wonderfully well. Sure, she made a few mistakes. She didn't purify her water enough, her drinking water, but she learned from that. Um, she did initially at one point start to run out of food, but she learned how to stock up and how to connect constructively with neighbours in a meaningful way for support and cooperation in the community in, in, a, in, in a way that she wasn't able to do in her career in Glasgow or any city, come to speak of it. And we had a really long discussion, it was about three hours because you can do that in Skype, it doesn't run up too much of a phone bill. And one of the most interesting aspects of our conversation, which is what I really want to share with you, is that she's discovered a deeper sense of herself in life and the purpose of life. It's not been the material things, it's not been the basic clothes, basic food. She's actually really enjoying that. She's noticed her health 
has improved significantly because she's not using chemicals in her house. She's using spring water, which is purified by being boiled. She's got a proper filter now. Um, the food she's eating, initially she thought it would, wasn't going to be sustaining enough, but she's lost weight. She's got more energy and she goes swimming in the sea in the morning. And this is off the coast of Scotland. I mean, it's not exactly the Caribbean, far from it. But she's found it has energized and invigorated her life significantly because she was brave enough to, ex to recognize the challenge, accept the challenge and go for the challenge and make it happen. And that takes a lot of bravery, but she is evidence, she is proof that that bravery, within even a short space of time, is being rewarded. And I asked Sandy if I could just kind of share this with you, because, you know, I don't like to talk about other people's business without permission, but she said, no, carry on. Because the way things are changing in the world, more and more people are, are moving away from cities to be far more self-sufficient in a far more supportive community where everybody you meet will know your name and that she has found to be very, very precious. I'm Ralphie, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll tell you more about Sandy in a few videos time because we, we had a big long discussion covering many topics, but in the, for the meantime, so this video is not too long, I shall leave you with a glorious view of the Irish Sea. Here you go.